So we'll just do, I guess, for tonight, the uh, Hakdam of the Sharei Ora. Sharei Ora was written by Rabbi Yosef Jektelia. He's probably like five, six hundred years ago. And he's a Makobol. And he's before the Ari's time, so the language is different. Uh, the Ari's language is more like mathematical, not that I learned the Ari. But the Goen actually told Chaim Velazhin that if you want to learn Kabbalah, you should start with Shari Oira. Because it's a little, not because, I'm saying that what's, uh, what's nice about Shari Oira, it's, it's like a little more sweet. It's more, you could connect, you could, uh, you could learn the Pesukim. So we're not really learning Mamash Kabbalah, but it's a little touches Milamala. Chasidus. Chasidus of Kabbalah. So if you want to follow inside, you're, you're welcome to, because I'm going to read and translate. Pitichat HaMechaber, so here's his introduction. Sha'alta mimeni achi yedid nafshi, you asked me, my brother, la'ir lefanecha netiv, I should enlighten you, binyan shmoisav shal ha'kadosh brochu yisborach v'yisale, to give you a light about Hashem's name. So basically, we have ten spheros, right? Chesed, Burat, Tiferes, Netzach, Hoyt, Yosef, Malchus. And the way we uh, turn to Hashem is through these ten Spheros. If, for example, here's a funny thing. You, we say this on Rosh Chodesh. We say in Halal, Even Ma'asu Abayni Ma'asal Rosh Pino. Like, do we know what we're saying? All these funny psukim. But if you read him and you see what he explains it, so you understand what's going on. So he's saying that these are Lehafik Bem Ritzon Cho Lehagia Bem Lechayus Chefce Cho. You could get to far places. Rufi Shereisi Kavanos Cho Yeshara Vatover Yaisar Mishael Ascha. I want to tell you the way to get to this light. The ways that Hashem wants or doesn't want. When you get to this information, you'll dive into Hashem and He'll answer you. You'll be close to Him. So if you see this, sometimes you see this in the Sidurim by Rosh Chodesh, tells you there's 12 months, 12 kavanas, or to be mechaven, it says ki yada, right, the different yud ki it says ki yada shmi, asagveyu ki yada shmi, I will uplift him when he knows my name. So there's a, something called knowing Hashem's name, knowing how to talk, like, you talking to Hashem is all very good, but there's different names, sometimes... It's a name of Alf Dalet Nun Yud. Sometimes it's Yud Kevavki. Sometimes it's Shakai. Sometimes it's Tzvoz. Sometimes each one has a different meaning, a different, and it's a different key that opens up different gates. So if you want to know the best way to daven and to uh, get closer to Hashem, then He should answer you. So you have to have these keys and to know the right Kavana for each shame of Hashem, for each situation. And it brings you to love of Hashem. And v'tisana gal Hashem, you'll have pleasure in Hashem. You'll enjoy your davening even better. V'ita lechol mishalosh lebecha. Hello, you doubt? I'm not sure about that. You're not heard. Eloikei oylo Hashem. Hashem is the God of the universe. Mipan of yochilu elyonim v'tachtoynim. The hires and the lowers are all uh, fearful of him. Mipacha doy tira shal tira ach ha'oretz u'lefnei zamu miyamud miyakum b'chol. And Apoy is calling a pasuk. And Nachum in b'gedosh of lo yamin u'shamayim lo zaku be'enov. Who is a person? Even the Malachim, Hashem has no certain Nemuna, certain Nemonus, and the Shamaim aren't so pure. So for sure, a person who is a Basar Vadam, how can a, a, someone who is born from a woman use his great lofty names? And he uses it as an axe to cut. How can we dare come and use Hashem's name? It's such a great thing. It's such a scary thing. And not only that, anyone who says Hashem's name with his letters, the Yud Kei Vav Kei, the way it's written, he loses his Chelek to Alam Habba. And he loses his Chelek to he didn't use Hashem's name for his needs, stam, a, a mundane thing, but Zulasi Derech covered. He had a very respectful way that he said Hashem's name. To understand the ways of Hashem. So this is referring to Gmar Navadizar that they brought Rabbi Hanino ben Trajan. He's one of the Yasar Ruge Malchus. And they said, Why did you learn Torah? I did what Hashem said. They said, We'll burn you. His wife they killed and his daughter also. 
So why did Itaka, why did he deserve such thing? What punishment did he have? So it says he was Hoyges Hashem Baisi. He said Hashem's name with its letters. So says the Gemara, how can he do such a thing? He lose Yechel Kalam Haba. No, he did it Lehi Slamet. He did it only to learn. Meaning you're allowed to do it, you're not allowed to use it, but you're allowed to understand it. So why was he punished if it was allowed? Because he did it before Hesse. You're not supposed to do it in a public way. You're supposed to do that in a secretive way. So if he was punished, so Anu Ha'anim Ve'achaserim Kal V'chaymer Us, the, the, the poor and missing Shlemus, what are we compared to Abchanan Ibn Tadion? For sure we will get punished. Ha'lotire Ma'ashakasav Hashem Yisbarach B'Sayrosai Lotisa Hashem Hashem Alekech Halashav Right? One of the Aser Sadibras not to say Hashem's name Stam. Really, it's referring to Shua of Sheker. Don't say Hashem's name. Don't say Hashem's name. And it didn't say that, don't swear. But it sounds like you're, it's telling you two things. Don't even take Hashem's name out. Stam. When he went up to Shemaim, he learned it from the Malachim, what's the, the secret of saying Hashem's name. He said the Shem of Hashem, so give greatness to Hashem. If even the Malachim are warned not to say Hashem's name, us who are made, who are going to turn into worms. Someone who dares to use Hashem's crown. In these days, Bikim, for sure we can't go and use Hashem's name because we're not bucky. We need to do it, right? The Bar Shem Tov, who, I don't know, who flies up in the air or whatever. We can't do such things. If someone does that, he loses his world. It's better if someone like this, who just says Hashem's name like that, without the, the right respect, the right kavana, it's better if he wasn't born. So here he's coming to kind of uh, refer to people who use Hashem's name, because they, they want to do things with it. They want to do magic stuff, cool stuff. So he says, that's no way, Jose. You can't do that. That's <laughs> bni Kabbalah Ma'asit, right? Kabbalah Ma'asit. That's bni Shema B'Koyli. Listen to me. V'tiyan aznecho kashuva s'latsasi. Listen to my Eitzah. Bni, im yefatucha chatoi ma'al toive. Im yonru lecho itanu v'nimsor v'yotcho shemois. V'azkara shetucha l'ishtamish b'am. Come, we'll teach you names of Hashem. You could use them. Bni al toile chitam. Stay away from them. It's bad for you. There's a name of Yud Kevavke, that's the Gematria of 72, the way you write the Yud, Yud Vav Dad, all those ways. Shem Shem Mem Beis, Shem Shem Yud Beis. So it's true that the Chachamim that were before us had all these names from Nevi'im that they had. They could do secrets, right? We know Rabbi Shemir Chai, one of his students said, I'm very poor, what should I do? He says, look, look at this valley, and he filled it up with coins. They, they could do these stuff. They could do all kinds of tricks. But, what? No, no. Kishof is coming from a tzad of Tumma. This is coming from Kedusha, from using Hashem's name. But still, they didn't use it for their own needs. They want to. They want to make a million dollars. They didn't go and fill up a, a whole, you know, bucket full of coins. Maybe if there was a time of a so they used Hashem's name. He's going to give examples. Oh, outside Kiddush Hashem, if there's a need of Kiddush Hashem, could go to Rabbi Meir Shehitzi Lachois Ishta Mikuba Shulzaynes. Right? We know all go to the Kever of Rabbi Meir Balanes. Why is he called Rabbi Meir Balanes? The same daf in Avodah brings the story that when he went to look for his wife's sister, because they put her in a kubash of zanat, which is a harlot uh, room. So he went to check if he went to check if she stayed pure, and he found out that she did stay pure. 
So he gave money to the guard, three bags of coins, and he said, use this to bribe the guards on top of you and let me take her, and he takes her. And the guard says, no, so what happens if they come and they say, um, after he finishes all the money, what does he do? So he says, say, Allah, the mayor of mayor, name. And that finished, the kids, they ran after a mayor. They found one day, they, they, they put wanted signs of a mayor with his picture. And one day they see him walking around and he had to run away. Right. So he said to him, say Allah the mayor Naini. And him himself, when he needed that, and he had a sakana. Oh no, sorry. So he's bringing for this an example that loy nishtamish b'shem ala barach loy. When Rav Meir himself, even though he could do tricks and he told the guard, say Allah the mayor Naini, and you see it, work, it would work and it worked. And that's why he's called a mayor balanes. But when he had to run away, the Romans were running after him. He ran away. He didn't say, okay, Shem Hashem and, and flew up in the air. Kedisa perek hamadavad zara. Or like we see Binyan Chonyam Me'agel, or Binyan Rovo Im Shemul Malka. Okay, so he gives a few examples. I don't know all these cases, but uh, or Binyan David, Kshikara Shitin, right? David was um, digging deep down for the Yesoidus of the Beis HaMikdash, and the water mm-hmm. was starting to come up, so they threw a Cheres with Hashem's name, and that put the water back down. So at times, Chachamim, the times of need, they used it. But whenever they could run away, whenever they didn't have to use it, they didn't use Hashem's name. So what's the right way? So the main thing is, the best thing is to use Hashem's name through learning Torah, saying to him, saying, uh, davening, using then the names of Hashem with Kavana, not as Kabbalah Ma'asi. Kigoyin Ekye Alfei Yud Hei, Yud K, Yud K, Vav K, Alef Dalet Nun Yud, Kel, Eloika, Elokim, Shaka, Itzvahis. So here he gives, uh, in short, ten names. No, actually, eight names. So for example, if you know those names, V'yeid Adam V'yavin, Ki Kol Shem V'Shem, Eilu Hashem Askulam, Hem Kedinyo and Maftechos L'Chol Gadol, like we said before, they're like keys, L'Chol Davo Dao, Sh'adam Tzarech, L'Chol Tzad, V'Inyan Bo'elam, Kshis Bo'ener Be'el Hashem Asim Tzakol Ator, V'Amitzos Tarlui Ba'am. You'll find even more than that. And in these names, all the names of Hashem is Tolu. And the main thing is that it brings you to know Hashem. Now you only you don't really know Hashem, but when you know His names, so you know Him better. You're going to want to get closer to Him. Like we said, Excuse me, I have a question. Sure. <clears throat> is this saying that the names themselves have these powers, or is this a way of connecting to Hashem to solve the problem? Um, good question. Good question. Is it the names themselves that you just say them and that solves your problem? Or is it only if you're doing it with connection to Hashem? Is that what you're asking? You know, if, is, is it a means to you, an end? We'll have to. If, if, you, if you say um, to your father, right, I, you know, I want you to help me with this, right? So it's different if you refer to him as my father as opposed to Rabbi Berzon at that point. Right. Am I right? It's a closer right? connection. Yeah. So and, the, and so the, the, the name father has very little power, but the impact it has on the father, right, is, is very powerful, because it's a reminder of the connection, right. the unique connection that exists, right? That's what I'm asking. Meaning, is it a means to an end to show that there's a deep connection, or is it that yeah. there's power in the name itself? It's the name, or it's, it's the midah of Hashem that you're being connected to? Connected to. the midah. Let's see as we go. Could be it's a little of both. Could be there's power in, the, in saying Hashem with a certain Kabbalah. And also together with that it's it's a stronger connection to Hashem because we understand what that means. Mm-hmm. If I come to a king and I say, you're great at this and you're great at this and I don't just, I'm not only close to him, but I'm a Shabachim that he's so good at this. He's a Kela, Gadol, a Gibor, a so I'm, 
saying different shvachim, so it right. has more power. Okay. He brings a few more examples that we see that Taka, the Avois, HaKadoshim, and all the Nevim did do this. For example, Be'esa Tzara, he's Kir Yaakov Kel Shakai. And he said, Kel Shakai iten lochem rachamim. So the question comes up, you're reading Chomesh, you want to understand. Why, when Yaakov sends Yosef down to, uh, sends the brothers to look for Yosef and to, to buy food in Mitzrayim, why does he say Dafka and Kel Shakai iten lochem rachamim? Why didn't he say Elikim then? Why didn't he say Yudkei Vavke? Why all of a sudden did he choose Kel Shakai? Must be a special reason that to choose Davka that name. Daniel, Kshispalei Lelam Bikdash Omar, Vehoer Panecha Al Mikdash Cha Hashomim, Leman Aleph Dalet Nun Yud. So he chooses to say Davka that name. Even though Chazal came in Darshan, Leman Avroham, Shekor Rocha Adon, that the Aleph Dalet Nun Yud is a remez that it's He's trying to ignore the Shchus of Ram who called Hashem Adon. Adon tzrichim anu lemudai. There's deeper meaning here. She spale lo chano. She iten lo Hashem zera anashim. She wants children. Maxim havaya tzvakois imro oy tira bani amosecha. So when she wants children, she uses Hashem tzvakois. Why is that connected to having children? Fine. Also, that the Chachamim Mardarsha Darsha Brachos. Uh, a certain drasha, he doesn't bring what it was. But still, what's the ikar and sherish pni mila davar? We want to understand what's behind, below the surface. What's, what's the deeper meaning? Da. So first of all, he says, here is one sherish and ikar. Da ki kol shemoysev akadoshim on his karim batar, all the names of Hashem that are in the Torah, kulam tluim b'shem ben arboisies. The source of everything, all the kel shaka, itzvaka, is. All the other names you see, they all come from one Makar. What's the main Makar? Yud, K, Vav, K. That is the main shame of everything. Maybe you'll think shame Aleph, Hey, and Yud, and Hey is even higher than that because when you'll learn deeper into the spheres, you'll see that's that. Right, that's right. 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 We don't know from just from that pasuk, but we know on his ten sha'arim that the highest shar, the last shar, is is connected keser, the highest sphere, and that's connected the shem ehiya. So why am I saying that everything is yud kevavke, not ehiya? Da ki shem ben arba oisios who kedim yoin gufaylan. The name of Hashem of yud kevavke is like the bark of the tree, the the main part of the tree. The shem ehiya u ikar ehilan is the the sharashim. The, the, the main one's the stump and one's the roots. One's the like the trunk. The trunk. trunk. The, the body of the tree. What's above the ground? What's below the ground? Okay. Say that the again. The tree. The body of the tree. The tree is below the ground, which has also sends out the roots. Very good. V'shem ehiyu ikar ha'ilon There's branches to each side. V'shakol Hashem ha'sakoridesh. All the other names. Kulam bedimyon anofim. They're all like branches and leaves. So everything has its fruit. Every other names of Hashem, they're all coming out and they're doing their fruit. Besides all the names of Hashem that we know that you can't erase, every shame of Hashem that's a name has also Kinuim, what's the right translation of a kinui? A nickname? A nickname? Is that a, a, a kinui? Okay. Gas like a, a, Oh, yeah. shem yud ke vav ke mihem. Alias, an alias. Noiro, noise avoin, over al pesha. Those are all kinuim connected to yud ke vav ke. Kinuim shel kale, right? Aleph lamed mihem. Godol, rachum vechanun. Now we read this and we don't understand. Well, why is that connected to that name and why not? But if we go deeper and we understand that, for example, Kael is Rachamim, is, is the greatest level of Chesed. So Godo, Rachum, Chanu. So it connects to Kael. So from now on, whenever you say, and you'd give me the verse, Hashem, Hashem, Kael, Rachum, Chanu, and you understand, you're not Stam saying Kael. You're saying Great Mido, Rachamim, which is connected to Godo, which is Chesed, Rachum, Chanu. It's not stam all these different names in different places, the kinuim. Kinuim Shem Elohim, which is more Midas Adin. 
Mi heim, what are they? Ki goin adir, shoife dayon. Ooh, that's a little more judgment. Shoife dayon. Ule kol echod meilu akinuim. So when would you want to use that, by the way? Maybe towards your enemies, towards, yeah. towards the... Yeah, each kinu has other kinuim that are connected. Meaning every word in the Torah, at the end of the day, all 600,000 letters of the Torah, or words, let's talk about words, all the thousands of words that are in the Torah, I don't know the exact number, are all really, at the end of the day, names of Hashem. They're just hidden in a kinu of a kinu of a kinu. It's not a name of Hashem. It's not the source name, the main name. Right. But it's a kinoi of a kinoi. Ad shenimtza kol ha-tera kulo nereges al ha-kinoi. The whole Torah is all woven into the kinoi of Hashem, the nicknames. Ve-kinoi ma l-Hashem ois, and all the kinoi are woven into the names. Hashem is ha-kdashim, kulam tluim al-Hashem ha-vayo. They're all on ha-vayo. Ve-kulam misachdim, but they're all connected. It's like the whole Torah, as uh, the Goyim says, is all in the first Pasuk, is, is all in Parshas Bereshis, and everything is in the first pasuk, and all the whole first pasuk is in the first word, and the first word is in the base. It all comes back to Yud Kei Vav Kei. Nim tzeis kol ha-tera kula nereges Hashem. Hashem ulfikach nikres, nikres teres Hashem temimo. Why is teres Hashem temimo? We have a new understanding, a deeper understanding, when we dance on the Sinchas Torah. Temimo, why is it temimo? It's shalim. It's all the Torah of Hashem's name. It's all. If you understand all the names to all their families, all their kinuim, then you'll realize at the end of the day that it all comes back to Havaya. If it's going to cause you to yearn, to cleave to Hashem, to bring you to awe from Hashem, you understand what Yira means, you'll be uplifted, you'll be brought up because you know Hashem's name. You'll understand how big of a punishment is someone who says Hashem's name, saying Yud Kei Vav Kei, the way it's written. Before I start with the Kavon of the Shibur, here's one introduction. You should know one rule. One, uh, rule. Nobody could understand Hashem's essence. The Etzem Haboyer. All the Malachim, the great Srafim, the Chayis HaKadosh, don't know where his place is. Kol Sheken, they don't even know where he is. Kol Sheken, Etzem HaMitasek, for sure they don't know his essence. Halay Tira Malachim Malo, the great angels, Mahem Oymrim, Baruch Kivoy Dashem, Mim Koymoy. What's Mim Koymoy? From wherever his place is. Meaning they don't even know his place. Bechol Mokayim Shehu. This is very strange. Sorry, it's, 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 it's a very strange thing. Is it, don't know the place of Hashem. Is a place for Hashem? It's called Maka. He is called place. Right, he is the place because he is everywhere. He is. The place. He, he is. Hashem fulfills the world, but and, would, and the world is inside Hashem. I, like, I got that part, right? right? But what what this is saying is that we don't know what that place is. We do actually know what that place is. Like it's the universe. The There's the universe? no place yeah. it isn't with Hashem. That's in a physical, the right? Angels right? Know. The angels is above the universe. universe. But the angels don't know, is what that will say. From what he said, so the angels... He's asking, is okay, the angels don't, don't know, know, but I, don't thought, know. I thought there isn't one place. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying is... There isn't there, one place. There's every place. There is Everywhere. The, the, where is the place without Hashem? It's, you know, it's right. not my thing. It's but what does that every mean? Every Hasidic question. This, in this world, Hashem is hidden, but let's say he's dwelling in the Harabais, in the Kedesh HaKadosh. But then we still say his Ashgach HaPratis is all But there's an idea. Over. There's an idea that the, the Harabais is, is a footstool of Hashem. Right. right. 
But we don't really think that's where he puts his feet down. Right, exactly. Right? But still, he puts it's more a, It's saying there. that's a place for connection. Yes. But it's more than that. It's also, this world is, is hiding Hashem. It's a tzimtum. Hashem was a mitzantz of himself. And you see a table, really Hashem is here, but he hid, he took a step back, so there's a table, and so to the whole world. Up in Shemaim, whatever that means, wherever the Malachim are, it's not hidden, it's not physicality there, it's all spiritual. So you expect in a spiritual place that maybe there is more of a gilui, not that he's, again, it's not time and place, it's, right, even though we're using the Kaimai, so it's a mashal to, to our... You know, Yonah was trying to flee from Hashem. Right. It and didn't that's work. In this world, it didn't work. Because <laughs> in this world, he's, you're right, his Ashgacha is all over. In up there, wherever up there means, it might not even be up, it could be in this, where the Malachim are, so there's, it's all Begilu, it's all re- revealed. So maybe there is more of a revealed place where Hashem is versus where the Malachim are, where the Srafim are, the Rakia, the, right, the seven Rakim. Every, every, there is a some type of place but that none is of more those dwelling. Pla- but none of those places are without Hashem. Correct. By right. definition. Correct, right. But if you think where the source is, where his throne is, where the Kisei covered is, where he's sitting more, right, it's in some place. But, all, but Hashem doesn't sit. He doesn't sit. You know, right. he doesn't have a throne. He doesn't have a throne. It's all a muscle for Ramba, us to right? Exactly. Right. But it's still bringing out the point that the Malachim can't even know his Seek dwelling. Hashem where he is The same found. way there's dwelling here, mm-hmm. right? In this world, he dwells, let's say, in Kedesh HaKadashim. So, so too, maybe up there, there's more of a dwelling where he is. And even that, they don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> good. I don't know. <laughs> If up there that's the situation, what you just mentioned, we read about Hashem having a hand or a foot, oizen ve'ayin, shal kol kayetze ba'em ma'u, what does that mean? Da, you should know this well, ve'amen and believe, ki kol oizem ha'inyon ha'yaf al pishem mo'irin, u'meidim al gedulose ve'amitasai, en kol briyo yechoylo l'odas al'izbonin ma'usai sa'adama. So even though there is such words, but we don't really understand what that means. So I'll explain a second. Just because it says that we're us mankind is we have eyes and we have hands don't think that there is an eye up there. Or yad yad mamish. Or there is a, some sort of type of hand, right? Yad Hashem. There is no such Yad. Deep, deep things. It's deep things that, uh, that are the, the Hashem's Metsius that come out in different ways. That the Shefa comes through a hand, through a foot, through this, through that. It's just ways of bringing the Shefa of Hashem. But in Mahus Yad, the Mahus Yad, the Mahus of Yad is not like we think a hand. To whom can you compare me and I could be like? There's no dimension between us, even though we're telling Malikim, from the actual shape. It's like a andarta. It's like we're not mamish the same tzura, but we're like a sign of a what? A zikaron. A monument. Monument. Yeah. Ruben Ben Yaakov. When you read in the parsha Reuben ben Yaakov, that's not what Reuben ben Yaakov looks like, just because it says the words. It just reminds you, oh, sign, Reuben ben Yaakov, that is that person. But it tells you nothing about what he looked like. Who Simon can I get Oisa Etzevetam? He said, Do I need Reuben ben Yaakov? 
so too, kaviyachol klape Hashem. Vish Hashem is baruch rotel lezakriseinu. He wants us to have schus to be closer to him. Baro beguf adam kama ivarim mistarim. He created in our bodies different ivarim. Some of them are hidden. Veniglim. Some of them were revealed. The dimyon simol maise merkava. Our body is a dimyon epis to maise merkava. Vilu yiske adam letar ivar mevar. You zeichet to be metayer one of those limbs all the way, like Avram Avinu did that. His limbs taught him the whole Torah, Ramach Ivarim. So he knew the Ramach Mitzvah. His kidneys. His kidneys, right? That's a, that, I think there's two Midrashim. Oisa Eivar, Kedimon Kisei, Oisa Dover, Elion Apnimi, Anikra B'Shem Zed. So that Eivar is going to be like a throne for that inner high thing called uh, kidneys, for example. Im Aynayin, Im Yad Yad, V'chein L'Chol Hashem. Keitzad, Kigoy. For example, use an example. He's very careful with his eyes. He doesn't look at any other things. Now you put on tefillin, you sanctify hands, so it's like more doymet to the hand of Shemayim. That's what they said this week's, these week's parshas. The avos are the merkava. All together. Avram Avinu Allah Vasham Lakach B'Tahara Tzadimim V'Yor HaShimin Shel Ma'ala Shumid HaSachesed So Avram itself is not the whole Merkava, he took the whole right side of the Merkava, which is Chesed. That's what it means that Avram was driving back and forth to the south. So what does he mean by that? Because the Yimini is south. And you're facing east, so the Yimini is south. And you're facing east. The Yimini is south. Yamani. Right, you're facing this is the east. So yeah, Yimini is south, very good. So you mean south, what does it mean that Rome is going south? Physically it means he went down south, towards Egypt. But, but spiritually it means that he went... The right side of Merkava, the Chesed. To the Chesed. I guess so, yeah. Kedma, that's called Kedma. Kedma's face. We're used to thinking the north is, is, is the top, right? Because that's how they, we have the maps and the North Pole and the South Pole and the way the... But really, I guess, Kedma. And when the, the Shvatim went in, in Yitzhak's time, it was all Kedma. So you say that's going up? Kedma's going up, you're saying? Nizrach is front. Is, that's an up. Front. I don't know. Well, fr- it's not front up. up. No, it's, it's not up. really up. It's not up. At the end right. of the day, right. it's, right. it's not up. It's right. front. The fact that we view the world the same way we would view it. It's a phone. It's not going to spin this way. It's not spinning this yeah. way. Yeah. Right. For example, Yitzhak Lagach Betar Midas Tzad Smoil. He's called the left side. Shura Pachad. Yaakov swears in Pachad his father Yitzchak. What does that mean? In the Pachad of his father. In the Midas Agvura that his father reached. By the way, he himself says later on when he gets to, um, I think, Gvura, the sphere of Gvura, that Yitzchak is the owner of Gvura, he's the Bailam of Gvura. He says that's a Pshara Kedas Yitzchak. Yitzchak Zura is so great that the world can't can't stand the Gvura. If, 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 we're, if, if, if Hashem Zanaga with us is the Gvura, we're finished. We do an Avera, that's it, we're out. The Akedas Yitzchak, the great Rachamim that the Akedas Yitzchak creates is that Avram's Chesed, Avram's Midas Chesed, he has to be Oiked Yitzchak. He has to lower the Gvura, he has to tie up the Gvura, because otherwise Yitzchak Zura is like too strong. The world will blow up. Hmm. Yaakov is the middle. Tiferes. So he doesn't explain what the, here what Tam is, but later on he'll say Tam is the is the Shlemus of Chesed Gvura. And that's what's called Yeshev Oyhalim. Why is it called Oyhalim? Oyel of Avram and Oyel of Yitzchak. Of course, it's the Majesh of Shem Vever. But now he's saying no, it means. Oil of Rome and Yitzhak, meaning he took the middle of the two. Nimtu Shlesha Sava is Kise Totem, right? We could stop earlier. Nimtu Shlesha Sava is Kise Lamakava, but Derech Ze, 
הוא שב הדובר אל בורי ויוצר אותך, פיין. ואת יש לנו לא יראה נכו בעניין תולר, זה דה. We're almost finished the Akdama and then we'll stop. One more thing he's saying. מידה סועין יראוס, מידה סועין זה נהיה שמה, מידה סייד יהיה מישוש, מידה סרגל זה הליכה, so every limb has its מידה. והנה המידה נמשכת אחר איברים. All the midas go after the limbs. ולפי שהזכירו חזק כלפי מעלה לא שאין מידס. יש לנו לא דון עניין המידס. כמו שיש לך לא דון עניין אוזן יד ורגל. Same way you try to understand what a eye is and what a yad is and what a regal is. So to understand the midas. Which is the spheres he's going to explain. כמו שאין ערך בינינו בעניין האיברים. כך אין ערך בינינו לעניין המידס. ולפי שאנו צריכים להשתמש בחיבור זה בלא שאין המידס. Since we're always using these spheres as midos, you got to be watch out. He shows me that the soul of the soul of the soul is that the soul of the soul is a midos. Yeah, what is the midos? One second. Or the soul of the soul. That's not the word like that. But as long as there is no eye and eye and eye and eye and eye and eye and eye, that's what he's doing in midos. Throughout the Sefer, what he's going to go and explain is the midos of the soul, which is the spheres. So you might come to make a mistake that, okay, the midos of Hashem means his midos, like we talk about midos, and a midos is, is a limit. It's measured. It's measured, it's right. Quality, it's, a, right. It's, a, it's a measure. He's saying, no, be careful. The same way we talk about Hashem's eyes or hands mm-hmm. or ears, and we don't really mean that, and we know for sure that he doesn't have eyes, he doesn't have hands, it's not how I'm saying. So too, when we talk about Absolutely. his hanhaga, his way, his midos, his way that he brings the shefa down, or his... Now he's acting b'midas ha'gvura, he's upset, and now he's shoifet, there's a ra in the world. Well, now there's chesed in the world. Don't think that that means, oh, now he's uh, in a giving mood, <laughs> or he's in the atmosphere of chesed, of a, of a midah. Because then you're mitzamtem, chas v'shalom Hashem, that now he's, he's acting b'midas ha'chesed. No, don't think that we understand his midos, even though we're calling it midos, it's un- infinite. That's the right word. word. So the Chazal called Hashem's Midos, Yud Gimel Midos. Omar Abudah Bris Kusa Lishloisla Midos She'enom Chazos Reikom. You say the 30 Midos, for sure there's a bris that's not going to go back. It's gonna, not going to come back empty. Shenemar Hinei Anachi Kares Bris, Shloisla Midos, Hem Hashem Hashem, Kerach Mokhan, etc. והקהל שיש לך להאמין בזה שאין דמיון בין מידוס השם יזברך בין מידוסינו. Don't compare it to our מידוס. זו לא עשית בדרך אזכור הסימון השם בבד. ועל זה אמרו חז"ל בכמה מקומים, אז בואו ראה שלא כמידוס הקדוש ברוך הוא מידוס ועושה אותו. So the word מידה here is just a... משהו. משהו. After all this, now we uh, dip ourselves, he says, come, I invite you to come and dip and understand in each... Pasuk, and each time it's, it's mentioned, and what midah of Hashem is, what sphere it's connected. And for example, I'll just give an example of what Shar Aleph is, the first gate. He starts off with Aleph Dalet Nun Yud, that name. Hashem Sposet Tiv Toch Fegit And then he'll bring different places where Aleph Dalet Nun Yud is connected to the sphere of Malchus, because he's going to start from the bottom to the top of Malchus, and he's going to go up to Yisoy, then to the spheres all the way to Keser. And at the end, there's a nice sikum, there's a lot of good heroes here from uh, uh, Burstein. At the end of every gate, there's a sikum. And just to give you a taste of what, 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 you, get, what you get after a whole shahar, second, that, for example, the names of Hashem that are connected to the sphere of Machus, which could then explain to you every time you see it in the Torah or in Tilim or wherever, is Be'er. So you understand Be'er is connected to Malchus. Be'er Sheva, Yam. Yam is Malchus. I'm not going to go through everything. Oyel Moyed, Tzedek. Malchus Beis David, Mikveh Mayim. You understand what a Mikveh is? A Mikveh is something connected to Malchus, to the sphere of Malchus. You have Nukavano when you go to Mikveh. Eitz Adas, Eretz Achayim, right? Esalech, what does David Amar say? Esalech lifnei Hashem be'eretz achayim. So he's hinting to the sphere of Malchus. That was the midah of David. Because you left out the, you left out the fourth wheel of the chariot. Right. We didn't speak about David, right? 
Yerushalayim. You're in the city of Yerushalayim. You're in the city of Malchus, because it's connected to the Malchus of Hashem. Teru Shebaal Peh, Shakai, the last hey of Hashem's name. Knesset Yisrael, Eretz Yisrael. So all these things, I just gave like seven examples, but all these things are connected to Shar Aleph, to, um, to the sphere of Malchus, and uh, but that's for another time. Shkoyach. Shkoyach.